Well, Happy New Year, all. Um, I've been gone for a while. Actually, I relocated um, from Central Illinois to uh, Portland, Oregon, and that was an adventure. Uh, I did record most of it, and then uh, managed to uh, lose the uh, vi the uh, videos I did off my camera on the trip out, but. Happy New Year, and here's a thought. Here's a way to save Tibet. Recently, Canada made the Dalai Lama an honorary citizen. The Canadian Rockies are only about half the height of the Tibetan mountains, but they'll do. China is bound to determine to exterminate Tibet and its culture. What remains of the monasteries and the culture is being wiped out. Children are not allowed to speak the language, nor are allowed to be educated. Some of the Tibetans remember, and that's the important thing, is to retain the knowledge. Those people are going to have to start all over anyway. China's going to crush them. So, Bill and Melinda Gates have a foundation uh, that, uh, combined with Warren Buffett's money, has, I think, it's something like $77 billion. And Bill and Melinda have designated also that this foundation, after within 50 years of their death, will spend all their money to resolving problems that can be solved in the 21st century, except for money. Now, if Bill and Melinda Gates dedicated that money to bringing the Tibetans over to Canada and the Canadian Rockies and letting them restart their culture there, and China can't say no to Bill Gates, he well, I mean, he's given up some of his positions at Microsoft, but essentially he is Microsoft. So it's a little hard to say no to Microsoft, as we all know. <laughs> um, let's move to bed to the Canadian Rockies. I mean, it's an idea. Happy New Year, all. And um, I'm back watching your guys' videos, uh, Smash and Jim Bob and um, Dispatcher and all the rest of you, and I'm, I'm glad to see you. And, Tell me more as time goes on, and uh, I'll uh, catch up on what's going on. I've got some other ideas, too, I've come up with that might be interesting. 